Hey there, it's me, your Red Knight, and welcome back to Food Street. And it's time for <coughs> Land. So Meow Meow Land, everybody. Now I actually like this design. It's the perfect village, and it does look really, 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 really good. There's a lot of awesome glitching in this one, and I think you're going to be impressed as well. Now, if you look at the center there, look at that beautiful hoverboard there going around and around and around, as we've got a floating character inside as well. Ooh, interesting glitch design. Almost like someone's pole dancing down there, so I kind of like the way that's gone. But the best thing to do here is to look at the whole design as you zoom out. So, I've got my young son next to me. William, what do you think? You like it? So, what do you think of that one? So, you like that, do you? Yeah. So, do you want me to buy one of those? I can get that from my game as well. Yeah. So, my son wants me to get the hoverboard. Okay, go away now. Go and have your shower. Right. Now, as I said before I got rudely interrupted, actually not rudely, I like chatting with my son. I like this little village and it does look good. You can see the buildings around the outside there. You've got the water slide in the back. You've got a bit of a garden feature in there as well. Lots of aliens. Uh, it really does look good and I'm rather impressed with this one. So, let's zoom on down and then start focusing on it in more detail. Now, as you come down to the bottom there, you'll see some nice glitching there. You've got the rocks blended in with the actual space globes there and the actual swan lake as well. That is actually rather cool and I like the way that she's done this one. So that is a very, very nice design. You've got the ferns added in as well for that little bit of an extra touch and rather nice. If we look around the outside, you can see some other decoration there as well. I see some of the actual under the sea water decoration blended in with some of the rock pieces. Nice choice with the benches as well with the actual crop growing containers as well. Very nice, very nice. If you want to sit down and gaze at the stars, you've got some nice little seats there, again with some telescopes, and that beautiful water feature in the center as well, so nice design there, I like that. There's eating tables mixed in, and a nice simplistic brown topped wooden table with some blue seats, which does look very nice indeed. I might actually buy some of those. I like those. You've got the space control panel as a divider between the two. There's some round cup ones there as well. And some more beautiful designs there for the garden piece using some of the fairy decoration and the alien balloons as well. Now as you move around to the side, you'll see that gorgeous door piece there that opens with some of the space windows there. You've got customers moving around and they're going into the buildings, into the houses. And it looks like the actual table for the servers is in this building just here where the machines are actually blended in. I like the choice here as well. You're using the actual purple tiles or the purple wall pieces there with the blue ones and that does create a nice impression. The garden over the back there with the portal as well using all of your animals really really cool and again those animals are blended into the wall piece thus saving a little bit of space within the design. You've also mixed in from the look of this some of the actual Halloween wall pieces as well which is really cool. I like this one, I really do. I think the actual design you've created here is really good. You've got a nice building set of features there. The doors and the windows are actually stepped away from those buildings a little bit as well, which creates a nice little bit of depth to it as well. You've got animals moving around, you've got little garden pieces, nice choice with the path. I like the central section there with the road and the actual space tiles as well. That really does look good. Now, most of the glitching itself is actually the machines inside the buildings, which actually removes them from your design. So if you're looking to actually copy some of these ideas, why not head on over and have a look? Now, if you want to know who it belongs to, okay, you need to head on over to Pebble Sugarfoot, and it belongs to the owner. So, as I was saying earlier, meow, meow, land. <laughs> now, I wonder how long that's going to stay there. Actually, I did the meow meow earlier. My wife thought there was a cat in the house. So realistic. And then when she realized, uh, she said some words that were not so suitable. But it was funny. <laughs> now, I like this design. I really, really do. Now, I'm going to keep looking at the designs today and uploading a few videos for you to check out. Make sure you do check them all. There are some really creative people out there in the world. 
Now, if you'd like to see some more designs, come and join me on Saturday for my live stream, 9 till noon time, as usual, Japan Standard Time, every Saturday. I give away some nice goodies, and we're going to be giving away pets, vouchers, coins, gems, and maybe an interactive decoration as well. Now they do come from the Food Street Company and you've got the opportunity to win them from me because I'm a master chef. Oh yeah, means I'm good in the kitchen, just like you could be. So subscribe, like, share, comment and join my channel. See you in the next video now. Take care, have fun and good designing and cooking.